Hello Capricorn, welcome to your second week of July, love read. Let's take a look, let's see what's going on for you and anything else that might wanna come in. At the end, I'll do a pick a pile, yes or no, so if you need any more clarification, I get the world card. So I feel like there could be an end into something, closure, and you might be moving on from something or someone, Taurus, Virgo, I mean Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. Um, but it also could be um, showing a new phase beginning, okay, as well. So let's just keep going. So what you don't know at the bottom here is that it's not over, okay? There's just a lot of change going on for you right now, okay? Um, but it's unfinished business. You're just in the middle of chaos, some space, some changes, some shifts. Things are not over. We have the Nine of Cups with this relationship, right? There's a lot of feelings here. Um, this person and you, you guys really do have a strong emotional bond together. I have a lot of feelings for pentacles, but you're holding on to something, okay? Holding on to something, a little bit, maybe your heart, maybe a little bit too tightly. Um, let's see why the Seven of Swords, somebody could have been very deceptive, okay? What's the outcome here? The Ten of Wands um, is talking about have, releasing some heavy burdens, okay? Um, so you might need to let go of some sort of deception or heavy burdens if you want to move forward with this person. Um, it also is talking about you possibly could be walking away completely from a relationship, okay? But if you choose not to because you have a lot of feelings from this person, really deciding on whether or not you really want to let go of the stress and the burdens of the past. All right, we have the three of wands in reverse talking about there has been a, um, a stagnant and growth of this relationship. This relationship's not moving forward, but I see an apology coming in for you, okay? I feel like this person is very, very apologetic towards you and the temperance, but they're very hot and cold. So what the hell, um, Capricorn? This person doesn't know what they want. It could be a Sag. Okay, but they definitely, it just seems like this never goes anywhere. This relationship doesn't grow and you're ready for a new phase. You're ready for either let's do this or I'm going to move on. But you don't, you don't want to leave this relationship. You don't want to end this because you have so, this is your wish fulfillment. You love this person, but um, they keep hurting you. They keep lying to you, um, causing a lot of stress. Um, they just keep, they, they just, their actions are not showing how they feel. I have the moon in reverse here. So I do feel like things are getting a little bit better. Some things might be coming to light. This person might eventually, the queen of wands, okay? Um, this person is very attracted to you. It could be Aries Leo Sag, but there's a magnetic pull between the two of you that brings the two of you back and forth together. You guys just can't let go of each other. It's such a magnetic pull, and the attraction is just so wild. Um, the relationship is just very hot and cold, and... It's almost like a bipolar relationship because you guys are so passionate, but there's no stability here. I see no stability. It's just very intense, an intense magnetic pull, an intense attraction. We have the hierophant in reverse, a non-committal type of energy. Your person just doesn't know how to commit and they have no foundation. The five of wands in reverse though, and they don't, it seems like um, they don't want to fight for it either. They're not trying to um, stabilize it, but we have the king of cups here strong emotional bonds, strong feelings, and we have the hanged man. So I feel like this is you, Capricorn. You have these, like, you're like the, you're like the head here. You're the one that holds the, holds this relationship together. And you sacrifice, you sacrifice your sanity here because you're so passionately in love with this person. The page of cups. I feel like, I want to say, I feel like you guys drink yourself, um, drink your sorrows away. All right, I do feel like when the two of you are together and you are having a couple of drinks together, you get really emotional and that's why you guys always end up kissing and making up and I feel like another kiss and make up here. This person could be younger than you and just really emotionally unstable, very emotionally immature. I do see apology and I see you guys moving forward again with this chariot card. So I see whatever's going on here. It's, it's, you're going to, this person is like very, very apologetic. You got three, two threes in reverse here. And I just feel like you're the mature one here. You are ultimately the mature one here. And this person, and it's just, 
I think they're just younger than you. Okay, it could be a Cancer. We have the Nine of Pentacles. All right, you're very independent. It's right under the King of um, the King of. You could have Water in your chart. The King of Cups here. You're very independent, but I think that sometimes you battle. Do I want to do? The, do I want to just end this and go on my own? We have the Knight of Pentacles because you, you're kind of stuck in a rut. You feel like this. Um, there's no movement of growth in this relationship, but you love this person and you've worked so hard in this relationship. Um, that you just don't want to give up just yet. We have the Queen of Pentacles too. So you have, you can't, you, you're always in this, you're very reliable, very resourceful. This person relies on you. This person relies on you. But you're constantly in your head wondering, you know, I got the Nine of Pentacles here, I got the Knight of Pentacles, and I have the Queen of Pentacles. I'm solid, I'm stable. I can do this. Capricorn, you are super stable and solid. This person that you're you're connecting with is just emotionally intense. They're emotionally unstable, okay? We have the lover's card, but you're so freaking in love with this person, you think they're your soulmate. The eight of pentacles, even though you're dying inside, you don't wanna give up. You're gonna do everything you can, everything you can to keep on working on this, um, working on this. You work so hard at work too. We have the eight of wands in reverse here. Even though you keep tinkering away and you keep working at it, things are not moving at a faster pace. You want things to move faster and they're just not. You're not going anywhere. The five of pentacles. Again though, here's an apology. Another apology coming in. This person's always sorry for something. They're always sorry. They always have an excuse. The page of wands, but they go and they wag their tail. All right, they're younger than you. All right, they flirt with you. They give you an assault. They, they say, I'm sorry. They kiss and make up. And we have the Nine of Swords, but you're almost over it. It seems like you're getting over it towards the end of the week. Like, you just, you, you've had enough. We have the High Priestess here. You're deciding to kind of step back and, and, and trust your intuition. I think you just don't see this going anywhere. Yeah, Disappointment, the Star card. You don't see this situation going anywhere, even though you love this person. You love this person so friggin' much. It's unbelievable, but they're emotionally unstable. We have the Ace of Wands here, so I see a new beginning. I see communication. I see you guys starting things back up again. And I see the Magician, because you're manifesting this person. The Two of Pentacles, juggling up and down, up and down, trying to juggle life with this situation. This person is really difficult for you at the moment. And we have the Page of Pentacles, but there you go. You're gonna receive some more news here, messages. And um, it's good news though. So what is this good news? The Six of Pentacles. This person's saying that they do wanna they want to put forth the effort. Do you believe them this time? The Two of Cups, of course you do, because you're going to have some sort of deep conversation, and this person just mesmerizes you. They mesmerize you. They're like a cobra, all right? They mesmerize you. The Ace of Swords, but in reverse, but they're dishonest. The Devil in reverse, here you are, Capricorn, all right? Do you let this go? Do you let this go? Do you release this? Because this person is very manipulative. This person is very, very emotionally unstable and manipulative. All right, let me, um, I wanna get a couple clarifiers just to see how does this person, uh, I mean, what's, what's the outcome here? Let's just, it's a hot and cold behavior. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. It's just not moving in the direction you want it to. Look at that. Regret, sorrow. They're always making you feel bad. They're always making you feel regretful of the situation. Six of Cups in reverse. They don't feel the way you want them to feel towards you. Okay, they're playing with your heart. They're playing with your emotions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have the Two of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Seven of Wands, okay? So the Ace of Pentacles wanted to come in reverse, okay? Perfect in reverse here, non-committal energy. So this person does love you, but you're always on guard. You're always on guard. You always feel on defense with this person, and it's not reliable. Like, the foundation here is not stable, okay? So that's why this never gets off the ground. But they do have a lot of feelings for you. They do love you. Let's do a yes and no. All right, two. <clears throat> yes, no, pile one. Yes, no, pile one. We have the hairpin in reverse again, non-committal, so it's not stable. No, it's not stable. 
Taurus energy. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. We have the star. Okay, so it's a yes. Okay, so there's no doubt that this person doesn't love you. The two of cups shows up twice. It's a strong bond here. I just think this person's younger than you. They're emotionally immature and they're unstable. Okay, I love you guys. I hope this helps. Take care.